Welcome back to Final Fantasy 15. Last time we finally, I say finally, it only took two episodes, but really two and a half episodes to get through this dungeon. Might have lost my cool, but uh, we got through it. Oh. It was, it just had some enemies that were just just some encounters that were unnecessary I feel like I'll just leave it at that but uh and plus like actually finding the uh the final boss like actually getting to that area where it was and finding it was Kind of confusing. Just not, not the greatest dungeon. It's got me uh, skeptical. If nothing else has before, this dungeon really does have me skept skeptical. If I want to try and do these dungeons with the extra royal arms on a future let's play. I just don't know if I, if I'll be the level I need to be to, to try and even attempt them. Anyway, that's. We'll cross that bridge when we get there, though, I suppose. So now, what to do now? That was really kind, of, kind of like the last big quest to try and do. I wanted to try and clear all these quests. While I was here. I mean, I know there's probably more quests out there to find and do. It's not like... It's not like... It's that easy to try and clear every single quest in this game. I mean, there's a... There's just, uh... Some of the quests just kind of pop up randomly uh, passing by a certain landmark. It's not just a matter of all the quests are located where these question mark icons are and that's it. I mean I was just traveling by one of these forts and a quest popped up because we saw an, an Empire ship going down into it so that became a quest and so th there's just some different things. I would still like to try and complete all these right now if I can. No roads, no rules, and no one to hold us back. go back here real quick and talk to Sid and just make sure he's not finished with that one item for that weapon I want him to upgrade or maybe now all of a sudden I can give him the second item for the second weapon you know what I'm saying there's still a few things to do though there's still a few things to do before we try and do plot Yeah, I've said it before and I'll say it again here. I thought I learned my lesson with Xenoblade Chronicles. I thought I did, but here I am. Really the same. looking forward to yours is cooking. I'll pretend I didn't hear I'll say overall mistake. Uh, don't be that way. I said it's different when a girl cooks I shouldn't have gone down this rabbit hole with the quest. <laughs> I don't really regret it, because I've had fun doing it. And 
and that's all that matters, right? As long as you have fun doing it. And I, and I mostly have. I've definitely appreciated this game a lot more this time around than when I did seven years ago. What am I doing? Going the wrong way. Thanks. It just... I feel like no matter what, I'm not gonna complete every single quest in the game. So it kind of just feels like, why have I... I'm not going to complete every single side quest in the game. Why have I gotten this far down? This far down the rabbit hole? Why have I, why have I gotten this deep into things if I'm not going to do every single quest? And you know, there's a part of me that's wondering and thinking I should just try and use the internet and do every single quest. Do every single one. I just don't know if I want to do that. So that there'll be photo op quests I would have to try and initiate. Do all these scraps of mystery quests. It, it's just going to be a lot of wild goose chasing. And do I really want to do that? You know, I, I would prefer it to more... Ha happen naturally I just don't know if I want to do all that to try and do every single quest like go on the internet and look that up and it would just take a lot a long time I know it's ironic me saying that because it's taken a long time to do all the quests that I've done and when you're this far deep into things you kind of feel like well shit maybe I should just fucking Do it, put the extra effort in, look up all the quests in the game, try and do them all. Maybe I should. I put this much time into it, maybe I should go all the way. I'm not counting hunts though. Hunts, hunts or hunts, I'm just talking about quests. What? And then these car quests too, that's another thing. I mean, I guess there's an X amount of these to come across. I guess. Brace yourself for power. Well, thanks for nothing, Sid. Mm. It's about night time. Huh. Finish up Dino's quest here. 
This might be his last one. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this is his last one or if he's got another one. This might be a short video to try and compensate for uh, the last video being an hour and a half. We'll see. We'll just, we'll just feel it out. I try and keep my videos as close to an hour each as possible. It pales in comparison try to keep that average up. But it's not the end of the world if I just have one random video as an hour and a half and all my other videos are pretty close to an hour on the dot, you know? I mean, yeah, I might have a video here, there, an hour and eight minutes and a video here and, here and there, like 52, 53 minutes or something. But, but an hour and a half. That is a... Uh, Considerably, considerably larger video. Welcome to Golden Key. <sighs> well, I've seen many videos in, in this in market, this let's play for this game. Dish. And there's the special meaning it harbors by marrying Lucian and Tenebrian ingredients. Yep, still haven't accidentally done that one. You did it. You really did it. So, you all ready to open up shop? Well, I'm an artisan, first and foremost. I'm not a salesman. You know the ring of the Lucii, right? I do. That little baby put up a wall strong enough to keep out the demons and the whole mother of an empire. How cool is that? Uh, pretty cool, I guess. Yeah, yeah. See, that's the level I'm aiming for. <laughs> not this second, of course. I uh, got my sights set a little lower for now, but it's only a matter of time. Wow. You probably heard on the news how the nights are growing longer and the demon population's getting bigger. People need protection. And if I really give it my all, I think I can provide that for her. Here, you ain't gonna find anything better in all of Eos, and she's all yours. Well, I guess I got my work cut out for me. Hey there! Still fighting a good fight? So where to next, your majesty? Got any scoops for your pal Dino? The port's still closed. <laughs> Can you believe it? Yeah, been keeping well, I hope? <laughs> Despite his flippant appearance, Dino takes his mental carving craft very seriously so seriously in fact that he ultimately decides to quit his job as a reporter and devote his free time to his art now the journalists come draw drawer why'd they spell come like that I, that cannot be how, how you're supposed to spell come right there. That cannot be. <laughs> what? Jewel, a journalist come jeweler, hopes to create accessories that will protect people from the demons that threaten life on Lucis. Rumor has it Dino is currently crafting a ring for a special woman who shared a few scoops with him back when he first started working for Meteor Publishing. <laughs> I guess we're done with Dino. See all these, all these quests. He's got his heart in the right place. Fool me with that attitude of his. It turns out he's a decent guy after all. Committed to protect lives, be it through information or through accessories. He ought to try showing that side a little more. What was I 
was saying? Oh yeah, uh, yeah, it seems like all these quests that have involved me doing quest after quest after quest with each individual person, it seems like those are coming to an end. Let's try and get this in. Hey, wanna hit up the crow's nest? If you wish to put on weight, certainly. Yeah, I know. Oh, have I done this? I just gotta report back to the... Huh. I guess I did. Welcome! Promotion! Nice! Kick back and relax. Bad news this lot. Reckon you can handle them? You keen to pummel some pests? Well, fuck, the regular corals gave me enough problems. <sighs> and really, just like that, I'm, I'm kind of out of stuff to do at the moment. <laughs> ah, let me look to buried memories. Let me see. Let me see how I can get this one completed. So probably have more quests for me after I finish this. So on IGN's website, it says I need to complete a side quest from Iris called Living Off the Land. Once I do, a restaurant owner will ask to trade the carrots you grow for different things, including Owat berries. Once you have the berries in hand, bring them to the chef and, you're, and you'll be done. Okay, well that might, that might be this quest, even though it says this one's from Talcott, I think. Maybe if, if I complete that, I'll, I'll get one from Iris.
And it said it's just taking a long time to finish working. I probably have to fucking sleep. That's pro he probably won't finish it until I fucking rest. That's Noctis. I bet that's what it is. Oh, he'll wake up in the morning and then he'll get the food and call from Sid. That Sid is done with the weapon. I don't know why I just couldn't give him both my items at the same time. I feel like I did that before earlier in this let's play with Sid. I gave him multiple items to upgrade multiple weapons. Ah, oh, y'all brace yourself for power. Huh? It's three o'clock in the morning. What are y'all still doing up? I would talk to Iris right now, but... I talked to her, uh... So, what's your plan if your glasses break? I've got another pair. Just in case. I talk to her, like, give her the, uh, the... man always has a plan. The flowers. But she has a quest, too. Is what I'm fully realizing now. Doesn't really show it on the map, though. It just shows the one for Talkit. Well, let's just try and do Talkit's first. How you doing, Talkit? Good, Prince Noctis. <laughs> What's that there? Oh, this thing? It's a cactuar figurine. I really like cactuars. Even though they're murderous monsters. You can buy them in different places and in different colors. I want to finish the collection, but I still need a yellow one and a blue one. I guess you wouldn't have seen them at any shops, have you? Oh, sorry, no. I never paid attention to them before. Oh, well, of course you wouldn't. But I will from now on. If I see the colors you're missing, I'll grab them for you. Even showing me where I can buy them. Huh. Mission accepted, Talkit. It's so cool the way they pose. Don't you think so? Mm. One time, my grandpa bought me the green one. I was so happy. I couldn't sleep all night. Calm down, dude. It's just a little statue. They sell only one color in each area. I wonder where you can get them. Luckily, the game is actually so cool showing me where to, to buy them, think so? I think. One time, my grandpa bought me... They sell only one... It's yeah. so cool the way they pose. It's showing me where I can buy so? these, but it wouldn't... It didn't want to show me where I could catch those nice rainbow could color frogs. some way to track down the cactuars for him. Gotta say, though, it's a pretty grown-up hobby for a little guy. Perhaps we could survey some shops while we're still in Lucis. Sounds like a plan. Let's do it. I don't know, I was thinking whatever quest Talcut gave me there would be a quest I would do in the uh, limited side quest let's play in the future. But if that's all the quest is, like, I don't, I don't know if I would do that quest because if I would knock this and friends. Knock this and friends wouldn't realistically have the time to try and go out their way and do that for them with all these circumstances. Hey, Iris. Oh, hey, Noct. What's up? Oh, you know, nothing. Noct has a little something he wants to give you. Wait, what? I, I do? Something from Noct? For me? Uh, what? Mm, here. <gasps> it's beautiful! Oh, I love it, Noct. You're so sweet. I'd say you made her day, buddy. Yeah. All's well that ends well, I guess. Hey 
there. It's all thanks to Monica and Dustin. They help pull everything together. Well, with all this new stuff, I bet you barely even recognize this place. Oh, did you check out the elevator? It takes you right down to the dock. It's all thanks to Monica and Dustin. They help pull everything together. Good news, Noct. Our garden is up and running. So, Noct, you gonna put your green thumb to the test? And do what with it? Uh, grow vegetables? You can eat them or sell them if you want. Fine, so what do I do? It all starts with a seed. Here, try these. You can now go grow crops in Iris' field. Namely, the rare Kyum carrot, due to Noctis' strong aversion, Iris cannot use them in his cooking, or Ignis cannot use them in his cooking. Hey there! Be careful! Well, I guess this is the quest. to complete the other quests. Ah! Check on them after resting overnight. Then I guess I'm out of things to do until I rest. Because that's when Sid will probably give me a call. That's when I can do this. So I can do that. Can't do that yet. Can't do that yet. I can try and do these real quick though. So let's do that. Trying to get all the experience I can before I go to the double experience hotel. Which it really doesn't matter. Honestly, maybe I should just go ahead and go there now. It doesn't matter because I have so much gill now that spending 10,000 is really nothing. So I might as well just fucking go now. I think that's what I'll do, actually. Go now, so then I can do this talking quest. First of all, go there rest. Hopefully Sid will be done with his thing, and I can get the uh, guard stuff. But more importantly, Sid will be done crafting that weapon. And I can get that from him, and give him the new item, so he can craft the other weapon. Then I can complete... Uh, I can get that garden stuff, turn it into the stuff the lady at uh, Golden, Golden Key needs to complete that quest maybe get another quest from her try to do that shall supply of do talk its quest gotcha. and then by the time I'm, I'm done with all that and rest again hopefully Sid will be done with the new weapon yep sounds like a plan You know, earlier in the game, when Gil was more limited with me, you kind of wanted to make sure you stayed at this hotel once. Because 10,000 Gil, spending 10,000 Gil was, was a big hit. So you, you had to try to make sure you spent one night and used up all your experience, absorbed it all in one night. Because you don't want to come here multiple times and spend more Gil than you have to. But now it's more affordable too, now that I have like 200 something gil, 200 something thousand gil. Yeah, and the 
this is going to help with my quest objectives. Welcome to Golden Key. Now that's a meal. Will you be staying the night with us? Let's call it a day. A bath at long last. All right. I think I'm going to get to like the mid 80s. We'll see that. I mean, that's like 20 levels. Maybe that's, you know, maybe that's a little too steep. I'll say like, we'll get to, well, yeah, the mid 80s is too steep. That's like 25 levels. I don't know if we'll get that many. We'll probably get like high 70s. Like, I'll, I'll I'm going to guess level 78. So we're not, because it's going to end up, that is my guesstimate. there either. Yeah, I was off by a good little bit. <laughs> Alright. Gladius is fully leveled up. His skill. This place was crawling with nasties. What's the forecast? Clear skies with the temperature rising. Hold up, hold up. That's better. Yeah, this episode is has just been a lot of me running around.
might want to stock up on potions and stuff. Nice. You're being helpful for a change. What do you mean for a change? <laughs> All right, you know what? Something just came up. And I think I will take the opportunity to end this one here and kind of have a shorter video to compensate for the, the last video, like I was saying. So, until next time.